Hey everyone, this is Dyeworm and today I want to talk about the economy in Pagan Online. It was completely busted and since the reset it feels really good. Let's take a look at how Madhead Games fixed their economy since patch 0.5. History. For those people playing the game before patch 0.5 there is good chance you had millions and millions of gold in the bank and no idea what to spend it on. How did this come to be? Here's the two main ways that we made money before patch 0.5 by basically just playing the game. 1. Selling items. High level purple gear sold for around 10 to 15k gold. And 2. Just looting gold. Every encounter at high levels dropped around 1k or 2k gold in total. We were just making an awful lot of gold. Everything had basically gold as a reward, but gold wasn't useful at all. Instead, what was necessary were crafting materials. We didn't get those too often, but we were showered with gold. What happened? Well, one of the things that happened is that gold became completely obsolete. It served no purpose. There was no incentive to get gold at all, because you had millions anyway. And because of that, all game mechanics that provided gold became basically obsolete as well. Then came the server reset and patch 0.5. Of course all money was reduced to zero, but a lot of other things changed as well. Here is what I found so far. The selling price of items has been drastically reduced. The amount of gold that drops from monsters has been drastically reduced. Gold costs of rerolling missions is still the same. Gold costs of cosmetics is still the same. Gold costs of additional stash tabs is still the same. Your income has been drastically reduced, but the cost of things remained the same. I tried re-rolling a few mission blocks to get the right level of the master difficulty missions and before I knew it, I was broke. That never happened before. I always had tons of money. I wanted to buy a couple of stash tabs, 20k gold each and once again after buying 3, I was broke. Gold is simply harder to come by, especially in the early days of the patch. Because of this, all systems and game mechanics that provide gold have suddenly risen in value. Certain game mechanics that you didn't care about previously because you didn't care about gold previously have regained the purpose in the game, which is really cool to notice. The chests at the end of a mission, for example, now give a significant amount of gold, but also the chest at a meteor event where you have to dodge incoming projectiles drop between 1k and 2k gold, which is in the current meta just a lot of gold. Another example is the chicken. Believe it or not, but the chicken is really valuable now. Not only does it drop quite a bit of gold, it also has a decent chance to drop a very rare crafting recipes and purple items. I found the life of the chicken worth saving, actually. And finally, hunts. Before patch 0.5, hunts were completely obsolete. There was no reason for gold and so there was no reason to complete hunts. That has changed and hunts went from being useless to being the number one way to make money. You will find that hunts are soon to be the solution to your money problems. And guys, I'm streaming this game as well, Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 8pm Central European Time on twitch.tv slash thyworm. There I will answer all the questions you might have regarding gold. Conclusion. I do realize that we're in the very beginning of the new economy and life cycle. I also feel though that when looking at respecting costs, which currently is a static 1k gold, that the economy can be kept at an interesting level. I think it is possible to tweak the current systems in such a way that gold doesn't lose its meaning, whether it is to gradually increase respecting costs or maybe introduce other gold sinks like buying crafting materials. I hope you found this an interesting video. I did. If you enjoyed this content, subscribe and hit the bell icon. I'll be putting out multiple videos per week with the latest news, patch notes, discussions, devlog dissections, and guides and tutorials for Pagan Online. And hey, if you like this video, please hit the like button or share the video. It really helps me reach a larger audience so we can grow the community. Follow me on Twitter for the latest YouTube and streaming updates at Thyworm. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Bye bye.